Hi, welcome to the video. I'm Dame, and this is Dame Over. And in today's Battlefield 2042 video, we are having a look at the specialists and the best way to use them to level up quickly and gain maximum XP. Before we get into the proper stuff in the video, I want to remind you guys I stream at least six days a week on YouTube and on Twitch. All the links you're going to need to follow and sub are down in the description. So hopefully I see you on the streams. I've got a range of membership options as well if you do want to support the channel. All right, let's get to it. So straight off the bat, almost all of the specialists are available to you. No no matter what level you are, the only two that are actually locked behind a level wall are McKay, who you unlock at level 15, and Paik, who you unlock at level 25. Now, not all of the specialists have abilities that generate XP, so we're going to be focusing on a very select few at the moment, like I said, to maximize your XP output and get you leveled up enough to unlock weapons and unlock even more specialists. Let's start first of all with what I think is the number one choice and with Falk. Now Falk has as her ability a Serret pistol which can heal people at range. You just point and shoot and it tends to track towards your target. Falk also has a self heal ability although the animation does take quite a bit of time so for me it's preferable to shoot the Serret pistol at a surface and gain the heal that way the same way that you'd heal an ally. Now Falk's trait is that she can revive any ally to full health and there are big XP gains to be had if you are reviving as much as possible. Revives and heals are definitely one of the best ways to go to get as much XP as possible. So in terms of loadout, what works best with Falk? Well, I have found to begin with that the PP29, as soon as you have it unlocked, is definitely the way to go if not using the PBX. These submachine guns at the moment seem to be by far the most accurate weapons. All of the other guns, especially the ARs, don't tend to actually work with the hitboxes, so I'd avoid them at all costs if you can. Your secondary is totally up to your choice. As you can see, I'm using the MP28 here. And in this particular Falk build, I've gone for the medical crate to up my healing abilities even even more. And for the throwable, I have the proximity sensor, which you should absolutely throw on no matter what your build is if you are looking for XP which is unlocked at level 12. Until you actually reach that point, I definitely go with the frag grenade. But like I said, proximity sensor is the way to go. Every time you spot someone with the proc sensor, it gives you five XP. And every time that target dies, you get 50 XP, exactly the same amount that you would get if you were to actually be the person to kill them yourself. It's one of the most overpowered and imbalanced ways to get XP. So ride the wave until it gets nerfed because I reckon it will be in some sort of way. Now, another optional build for Falk that you can see here, I've got same deal with the weapons, PP29, the second is the MP28, and I've gone with the gadget instead of being the hill crate with the ammo crate. Now, again, this is paired with the proc sensor, so until you get it unlocked, you might want to hold off on this one, but using the ammo crate to resupply your proximity sensors is a really, really good move. I can't recommend it enough. Every time you pop the ammo crate down, you'll pick up one more proximity sensor, which you can just lob into those high traffic areas to rack up those points nice and easily without doing any work. Work. Now, there is one thing to be said about the IBA armor plate as one of your gadgets. Having the option of having armor when other players can't straight off the rip is, I think, a pretty ridiculous thing to put in a multiplayer game, especially considering it's not a battle royale, but it's there nonetheless. So I think you'll often find, and I definitely do, that if I'm facing someone that has armor, I'm going to definitely struggle a hell of a lot more to get the kill or just survive the fight. So if you did want to just rely on the Sorette pistol and Falk's healing abilities to heal yourself and your teammates and have that extra added bit of health with the armor on, then definitely go for the armor plate. And while we're talking about armor, we are going to move on to Angel, or it might be Angel. I can't tell where this guy's from. His accent is very ambiguous. Anyway, so Angel's abilities include the loadout crate. He can call in a resupply, which parachutes into the map, and he's also able to dish out at a time three lots of armor. You can throw this armor directly at your teammates to give them an extra 20% health, or you can chuck one of the armor plates on the floor, walk over it, give it just a second and you'll also get that 20% extra armor just like you would if you were to carry the armor plate as your gadget. Now his trait as a trauma specialist allows you to revive any ally just like Falk would be able to do so he's essentially a combat field medic and if you do revive an ally on the battlefield it gives them extra armor on that revive. Now the loadout that I've decided to go for with Angel is very similar weapons wise to Falk like I said it's very difficult to choose different weapons at the moment because most of them feel pretty broken. We have the PP29 
The secondary is going to be the MB28. Your gadget, most importantly, is the med pen, so you can heal yourself as often as you need to. This has three charges on it, so make sure you pick your moments very carefully. You're not just using them if you take a couple of points of damage. And again, for those max XP gains, we have the proximity sensor. Now, using this loadout with Angel is, in my opinion, one of the most overpowered loadouts. You have almost constant heals and constant armor. This is where I've found to have the most success in not just staying alive, but generally just having a bit more fun in the game. Next up, we have an old Battlefield favorite. We have Irish. Now, Irish's ability is a fortification system. He can choose to put out two ballistic shields in one go, or you can put out one shield and one shoot down sentinel, which is essentially a trophy system. This will protect you from any throwables like grenades or hit any missiles that go into its vicinity. The reason I've chosen Irish to put on this list is because he has a lot of survivability, which I don't even know if it's actually a word. He spawns in with armor on already, and like I said, can protect himself and teammates around him from being killed very easily. There's a lot of longevity if you play things right with Irish. And for his loadout, I've decided again to go with the PP29, the MP28, and the heal crate to again add on even more to his surviving abilities. And as always, we've got the proc sensor. Next up, we have Boris. Now we're going with Boris because of his sentry gun. It engages nearby hostiles, so it'll help you get some more kills and also spots enemies on the map, which you do get XP for. If you're staying somewhere near your sentry gun, it will increase its effectiveness, making it more accurate and making it able to spot people a little bit easier and track those targets. But just like the proximity sensor, it's basically free XP gains through spotting. Now for Boris's loadout, I've kept it nice and simple again. Same weapon, same secondary. I've gone with the medical crate and the proximity sensor again to double down on those spotting XP gains. And when you do reach level 15 and unlock McKay, I like to try and use him as an anti-vehicle specialist, equipping C5 to try and get the drop on vehicles. And it's always good to try and get that high ground. Again, combining it with the proximity sensor so you know where your opponents are at all times is definitely a plus. And when you reach level 25, you have Pake, who has a wall hack as their ability, which does pulse out the unfortunate thing. And I'm going to recommend you guys go and watch SMK's video on this. I've got a link to his channel down in the description. You get spotted on the map by everybody. Everyone can see you as though you were shooting without a suppressor on. So if I was you until this ability is changed, I'd avoid using Paik at all costs. So those are my top loadouts and best ways to gain XP quickly on Battlefield 2042. I would love to give you some different weapons to use, but honestly, at the moment, the PP29 is the only thing that really makes any sense and really works properly. So once the weapon balances have come in, I'll be adding the best weapons to combine with which specialists in another video. So if you found this video useful at all, please do hit that like button. If you you're new around here it'd be great if you could sub to here's a very quick thank you to my dame operatives those of you guys supporting the channel on patreon and a big shout out to my subs on twitch and my members here on youtube until next time that's dame over peace <laughs>